Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of interesting wild animals today, including honey badgers and stoats. Can you tell me how many honey badgers there are in today's video? Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Stay for the fun ending when the wild animals are taken by surprise. The pink flamingo eats algae, which is an aquatic plant, tiny shellfish, plankton and brine shrimp, which are rich in carotenoids, which is why these birds are pink or orange. If they ate a different diet, they would lose their brilliant colour. When they eat, they put their beak in the water upside down, their mouth fills with the muddy water and any plant or animal material remains behind once they pump the muddy water out of their mouth. This is called filter feeding. The African elephant is the largest land living mammal in the world. The elephant's tusks are used for defence, attack, digging, lifting objects, gathering food and stripping bark to eat from trees. They also protect the sensitive trunk which is tucked between them when the elephant charges. In times of drought, elephants dig water holes in dry riverbeds by using their tusks, feet and trunks. Another African elephant. Their thick set bodies rest on stocky legs and they have concave backs. Their large ears help them with heat loss. They flap them to lose heat. The upper lip and nose form a trunk. Elephant mating rituals include the gentle entwining of trunks. Both male and female African elephants have forward curving tusks which continue to grow throughout their lifetime. The African Elephant Calf. Elephants give birth after an almost 22 month pregnancy. Each female elephant gives birth to a calf every two to four years. At birth, elephants already weigh 200 pounds, which is just over 90 kilograms, and are three feet or one meter tall. The young calves are tended not only by their mothers, but also by the other females of the herd. This wolf reminds me of Akela, the lone wolf leader of the wolf pack in Jungle Book. Wolves are known for their spine tingling howl, which they use to communicate. A lone wolf howls to attract attention of his pack, while communal howls may send territorial messages from one pack to another. Wolf packs are established according to a strict hierarchy, with a dominant male and his mate at the top. Wolves are the largest members of the dog family. The grey wolf is the most common. Wolves live and hunt in packs of around 6 to 10 animals. They are known to roam large distances, perhaps 12 miles, which is 20 kilometers, in a single day. Wolves work in packs, running their prey down after a chase. When they work together, they are able to bring down large animals like deer, elk and moose. All of a pack's adults help to care for young pups by bringing them food and watching them while others hunt. This little guy is so cute. The 
red-bellied black snake. The venomous red-bellied black snake grows up to 2 meters long and has striking coloration. It has red edges on its belly, scales and a shiny black back. The red-bellied black snake is most active during the day. They live in forests near permanent watercourses or swamps in eastern and southeastern Australia. The hippopotamus is a large, thick-skinned, semi-aquatic African mammal with massive jaws and large canine tusks. Hippopotamus teeth sharpen themselves as they grind together. Their teeth can grow to 20 inches or 50 centimetres long. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. Another hippopotamus. Its name means river horse. The body of the hippopotamus is well suited for aquatic life. Their eyes, ears and nostrils are located at the top of their head so they are able to see, hear and breathe while mostly submerged. A clear membrane covers and protects their eyes while allowing them to see underwater. Their nostrils close to keep water out and they can hold their breath for several minutes. baby hippopotamus is called a calf. Calves typically weigh about 100 pounds when they are born. A female hippopotamus only gives birth every two years. The mother and her calf find a group of hippos known as a school for safety from predators. The male honey badger. It has a muscular body and strong legs with five long sharp clawed toes on its feet which are used for attack, defence and digging. The honey badger is the most fearless animal. It can chase lions away from prey and attack killer beehives. And here's the female with the kit. The honey badger has a very thick loose skin which cannot be pierced. When attacked, the badger is able to rotate its skin towards its predator's face and claw their eyes. Their very sharp teeth can easily break a tortoise shell. It is able to produce a stinky odour to keep predators away. The stoat. The stoat is sometimes known as a short-tailed weasel. It is a small-sized mammal closely related to weasels and ferrets. They eat other small animals and bird eggs and can kill animals bigger than themselves. They kill by biting the neck of their prey at the place where the skull attaches to the rest of the body. Stoats have an elongated body with short legs, small ears and thick warm fur. Their fur is brown but changes to white in the winter in northern areas like this little stoat here. The tail has a black tip all year round. Stoats have a good sense of smell and they stalk and hunt using smell. They have good night vision and are most active during dawn and dusk. Like skunks, stoats can spray a bad smelling fluid when they are scared. They are also good at climbing trees. They can grow as long as 30 centimetres or 12 inches. They have extremely sharp teeth which can issue a nasty and painful bite. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Remember to tell me how many honey badgers there are in today's video. And remember to stay for the fun ending when the animals get taken by surprise.
please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media platforms that you like to visit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate any help you can give me in translating videos. Thanks once again.